So OpenAI just released GPT-40. In my opinion, this is the biggest step forward in large language models. So let me play this demo because this does a really good job of providing an example of how GPT-40 can accept images, audio, and text simultaneously, and it can respond to it in real time. So let's take a look at this video, and then I'm going to come back and explain all these things in detail. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling about? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm, from what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI? Or more specifically about me as a part of open AI? You've got me on the edge of my, well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. All right, so this is amazing. So let me explain um, in detail of what's going on here and why this is such a huge release. GPT-4.0 is a step towards more of a natural human computer interaction. So what this means is now GPT-4.0 has the ability to understand and generate not just text, but also audio and images. So imagine having a conversation with an AI uh, that can not only read and write, but also listen and see. So this means you can talk to it, show it pictures, or even play sounds and it will respond respond appropriately. So for instance, GPT-4 O can reply to your voice almost as quickly as human beings. And again, this is almost like interacting with a computer just like you would talk to a normal human being. So it has also real time translation from one language to another because again, now it understands and processes those audio files very quickly. So let's take a look at this. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Can you tell me anything about it? That sounds really interesting. ¿Me puedes contar algo sobre eso? Suena realmente interesante. Uh, no, no puedo decir mucho, pero creo que el resto del mundo lo verá dentro de poco. I can't say much, but I think the rest of the world will see it soon enough. Oh, well, I can't wait to... I mean, that's incredible. Now, it basically removes all the barriers between languages. You no longer have to uh, see any delay when it comes to translation. And again, it's almost like a real-time translator sitting next to you and talking to somebody, which is absolutely amazing. And here's another good example of this concept of this new model having the ability to actually take in pictures and voices at the same time and interpolate that and respond accurately because now it's using that one resource to capture and process all the inputs, which is going to be voice, text, image, all of it at the same time. So let's take a look at this. Hey, my friend, I are learning Spanish and we're wondering if you could tell us the names of these objects in Spanish. Hola, por supuesto. Cool. What about, what are these objects in Spanish? The objects you're showing are una manzana and un platano in Spanish. Nice for choice. Cool. What about these? Those are dos polígrafos or dos plumas in Spanish. One huh? is red. Nice. Yeah. What about this? That adorable stuffed animal is un oso de peluche in Spanish. Looks like it's ready for some hearts. 
again, that's the definition of using text, camera as image, and then voice and processing at the same time and having a real time, almost instant conversation, just like a normal human would. So now it has the ability to have this perception and understand its surroundings because it uses its camera as a video or an audio, uh, image input. And then the audio, obviously, whenever a person is giving it any kind of instructions, it can respond simultaneously because it's using one resource to interpret all of these different inputs like the image, voice, and text at the same time. Here's another one which is incredible because now it has the ability to actually detect sarcasm, which is crazy. Hey, Chad, are you there? Hey, yep, I'm here, what's up? Hey, let's, do, let's have some fun. Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just gonna be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> nope, the sarcasm. Let's get this party started or whatever. You can imagine if it's having a conversation with another human being, it will be able to actually detect the tone of their voice. It can detect all these different aspects of what a normal human being would be able to detect just by understanding the tone of somebody's voice. Or, so I mean, sarcasm is such a, difficult thing to process for a machine but now it has the ability to do that which is amazing and again it's just the beginning stages i'm sure they're gonna they're gonna improve significantly in the upcoming future and it looks like gpt4 beats out almost all the existing large language models like cloud 3 opus gemini pro 1.5 and llama 3400b so again OpenAI becomes the best large language model with this new release all right so that was just a quick video i uh, hope you guys found this helpful see you on the next one